Atención, damas y caballeros, la siguiente pelea está pactada a seis asaltos. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for six rounds. The judges are, los jueces son, el profesor Hernando Stero, Eliud Rosa y César Ramos. Your referee, el árbitro Roberto Ramírez. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing blue and white trunks and weighing 112.3 pounds. Su contrario en la esquina azul, con una truza color azul y blanca y un peso de 112.3 libras. He has two wins and one KO, con dos victorias y una ganada por knockout. From El Barrio Padilla, Corozal, Puerto Rico, Giovanni El Cepillo Fuentes. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing blue and silver trunks and weighing 113.3 pounds. Su contrario en la esquina roja, con truza azul y plateada, con un peso de 113.3 libras. He has three wins, one loss, and three wins by way of knockout. Con tres victorias, una derrota, y las tres victorias conseguidas por la vía del knockout. From Fajardo, Puerto Rico, McWilliams Arroyo. All right. All right, Roberto Ramirez Sr. brings the fighters into the center of the ring. Ya le di las instrucciones, pues el limpio, se ha golpe de aquí. Since both of these fighters have on blue and white trunks, the guy with more white on his trunks is Arroyo. There he is. And he also has, well, as El Capillo, that's Fuentes. All right, here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. McWilliams Arroyo to the left of your screen, and Fuentes now to the left of your screen. They both have on blue shoes. They both have on a white Jose in the back of Arroyo. It's hard to separate the two for you when they're both wearing the same color trunks. That doesn't work with that graphic up there, blue and white and blue, because they're both blue and white. All right, Benny, we got a special guest with us. I'm going to let you bring him in. Absolutely. It's always a delight. This is Juan Manuel Lopez, better known as well as Wama Lopez. He is the world champion in the featherweight division. And Wama, it's an absolute pleasure. And I'm going to do it in Spanish. Wama, un placer tenerte acá con nosotros, acá como siempre. Qué lástima que Rafael Márquez se lesionó. No tuviste esa oportunidad de pelear contra él. Pero cómo estás ahora, buen condición. No, estamos muy bien. Eh, como que era la pelea con Rafael Márquez va a ir, pero la están entendiendo va a ser en octubre 30 o noviembre 6. Estaba esperando que no tenga la fecha. He said he's very disappointed, Curtis he wasn't able to face Rafael Marquez, but he's ready. It's going to be either in October or November, the first week in November, or the 30th of October will be the chance for him to go ahead and fight against Rafael Marquez. ¿Qué, qué opinas acá de este muchacho McWilliams Arroyo? What do you think of McWilliams Arroyo? McWilliams Arroyo es un gran peleador, está con mi equipo de trabajo también, mi manejador es el que maneja el de él y mi equipo de trabajo trabaja con él. Un gran peleador que tiene un gran material y esperamos que llegue a ser campeón del mundo. He says he gets a chance to go ahead and work. This is part of his stable right here. See McWilliams and Rojo, so he gets a lot of chance to go ahead and see him. Hey, Benny, ask him about the main event. Y ahora vamos a hablar acerca de ese, la pelea estelar. Tener el, el perfeccionista que viene a ser Calderón contra el hombre tan agresivo que viene a ser Giovanni Segur. ¿Cómo ves esa pelea? Una pelea fuerte los primeros tres cuadros saltos, pero yo creo que Iván Calderón debe de descifrarlo enseguida y dominarlo ampliamente por la decisión. Giovanni es un gran peleado, pero muy lento y, y muy desorganizado. He says, you know, what, what, uh, what uh, Calderon's got to do is right away jump on him, jump on him, and make him miss. And the part of Giovanni Seguro, he's a very strong fighter, but very disorganized, very slow and lethargic compared to Calderon. That sets it up pretty good, Colonel. Uh, i tell you this. if I, I don't think that Calderon's going to jump on him early. I don't think that should be his fight plan, but Juanma knows a lot more about fighting than I do. All right, McWilliams Arroyo with Jose in the back of his trunks. He's got Fuente sliding side to side on him, but it's uh, McWilliams that's doing the scoring. As Benny mentioned, he's coming off a loss his last time out against Takahashi Okada in Madison Square Garden. Maybe Benny the venue was too big for him too early in his career, although he's got all that Olympic background and plenty of amateur, you wouldn't think it would bother him, but still a mecca. 
Yeah, but you know, Colonel, I think it's good for a young fighter like that to go ahead and lose like that. I'll tell you why. Because then he learns. Then he's got more of the ear of the trainer to know you got to learn how to win by decision. Don't forget, Fuentes, in his own right, is bouncing around, facing you right now. He's a guy with a white tubing around the center of his trunks. And you see, he's moved well when he stops. Uh, McWilliams Arroyo takes advantage of him. There's the bell ending round one. That's an Arroyo round. Well, we've got one man with us, and go ahead, Benny, continue with it. Well, uh, McWilliams perdió su última pelea. Psicológicamente, ¿cómo le afecta a ese un peleador cuando llega a sufrir esa primera derrota? How do you feel as a fighter react when he loses that first fight? Es una es algo algo doloroso, pero por lo menos le sucede al principio de su carrera. Más difícil cuando empieza, cuando te sucede cuando eres campeón del mundo, pero por lo menos ahora estamos probando con el ciclo de la mente y está muy, está muy tranquilo. Well, he says, you know, it's very simple. He says, if you lose as a world champion, then that makes it very difficult. So it's better to go ahead and lose at the very beginning of your career. Tu siguiente pelea contra Rafael Márquez. ¿Qué podemos esperar de vos en esa pelea? What can we expect from you against Rafael Márquez? Una, una guerra, definitivamente una guerra, pero, pero la velocidad mía va a ser el factor, no tanto la juventud, yo creo que la velocidad y el estilo mío va a ser el factor clave en esa pelea que vamos a dominar por eso. He says you're going to see a war, and of course this particular style is going to come straight at him, not going to take a step to the side, and he's going to be right there. Juanma, como siempre, un placer estar con nosotros. Muchas gracias por tu tiempo. El gusto es mío, el gusto es mío, señor. Buena suerte. Thank you. And let me translate what the Colonel said. He's actually, it's an absolute pleasure, said the Cardinal, for him to be with him. <laughs> All right, so here we go, round number two, Arroyo against Fuentes. Fuentes in the more standard type of blue trunks, and in the trunks uh, that are blue as well with Jose in the back, to the right of your screen is McWilliams Arroyo, or as Benny says, Arroyo. 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 See, si, see, si, see. Si. Arroyo. Hey, I translated some Irish right there, you know, a minute ago. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Cuando caliente el sol. See, si, in la playa. Okay. Here we go, round number two. And you know, you know what, Fuentes is doing a good job. He's moving side to side, so he's not giving McWilliams Arroyo a good target to go ahead and hit. By the way, Benny, if our old producer Nelson Swagler heard us doing that Spanish stuff back and forth, he'd be, I mean, I'm sure if he's watching tonight up in New York, he's slitting his throat right now. He's yeah. sick of us. <laughs> All the way back in Connecticut. This is round two of a scheduled six round affair. You're getting to see McWilliams Arroyo, the three and one sensation from a place called Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Look at the eyes of McWilliams, though, so totally focused. He is focused on the task at hand, he has his sights. Totally, totally focused on Fuentes. Just look at that jab. Beautiful jab. Snap in the head back of Fuentes. By the way, the referee this time is Roberto Ramirez. If it seems like you're looking at a mirror, you are. That's the daddy. Roberto Ramirez is a Hall of Fame uh, referee and a great one in the line of the great referees like Stanley Cristadulo and others that are in the Hall of Fame is Roberto Ramirez. And his son, Roberto Ramirez Jr., has been working every other fight with him. Our main event uh, referee is going to be Jose H. Rivera, and that'll be interesting to see him. He does a bit of a low blow, and you see Mr. Ramirez says, keep those hands right up there. Very, very good referee. But you know what? Here's where I'm seeing the 120 amateur fights of the Pilot McWilliams Arroyo. He has not gone to the body of Fuentes at all, Colonel. He's been headhunting the whole time. He has not gone to the body, and that's what you need to do in the pro. And there's the hurt ranks, the pro ranks. you got to attack the body when you got a guy on the rope. There he goes again, straight for the head. No shots to the body. There he goes. Oh, well, finally. But you know, in the flyweight division, it's not a division that's very well known in this, well, in this part of the world that we're in, it's known. But basically in the United States, where a lot of our pay-per-view customers are, you've got the, uh, the champion who's actually Ponsigwek uh, Wong Jung Kem from Thailand. He's got 76 wins. And then you get Koki uh, Kamada from Japan, who has 23 wins, and then Daisuke Nanito from Japan, who's got 36 wins, and another Japanese kid by the name of Daike Kamida, who's 17 and 2. Then you get the Thai kid, who's 50 and 2, another Japanese, a Panamanian named Luis Concepcion, if you've seen, and then the South African, Moruti uh, Mithani. Uh, so you've got a lot of good fighters with a lot of great records, and if McWilliams Arroyo is going to contest, he's going to have.